Hello everyone, welcome back. So today we'll be talking about the tags. So basically the tags are used to organize the Azure resources and manage them. So let's go ahead and start. So let's go to the all services. And in this, uh, we have to select the policy. So let's go ahead and search for it, which will be in management and governance. So you can see the policy here, click it. And in the policy, uh, you can see the authorizing, right? So under this, you can see the assignments. So click it. And here we are going to sign a policy. Let's create it. And uh, it's going to be a subscription level. So let's go, let's go ahead and select the policy definition. Let's go there and create this. So we have a lot of uh, building functions. So in this, uh, we are specifically selecting the tag so in this case we are uh, using the required tag and its value on the resources so it enforces a, a required tag and its value does it uh, does not apply to the resource group so we have uh, we are going to select this one click it and select so if you want you can uh, add some description as well uh, in this case i'm just leaving it default and coming to the parameters uh, i'm adding the parameters in this case So company and uh, let us click MRT. So this is my tag that I have created. Let's go ahead and review and create. So let's go ahead and create. So now you can see it has created. Well, it may take some time. So Meanwhile, let's just go and uh, try to create a storage group. So you know where the storage group is, right? So it will be another storage. So you can see here uh, the storage accounts. Click that. And let's go ahead and add a storage group. So in this case, I'll be creating a new group. Okay, there is already a policy group, so I'm just clicking that. And coming to the name, I'm going to select the random one in the drop down list, US standard, and uh, in this case, I'm going to select the cheap one. Uh, and uh, I'm just leaving everything as uh, default. You can see there is a mark here, but let's go ahead and create. So you can see you have uh, got a validation failed uh, required information is missing. So since there is a policy uh, which is stopping it, that's the reason like we got uh, the validation failed. So you can't create it. So even though if you try to create like you'll be getting the error. So you have to give the tag name uh, which we have uh, assigned to the subscription level. So let's go ahead and uh, give the tags. So it's company and MRT. So this is the tag name that I have given. So now when you go to review and create, it is running and now the validation is passed. So now you can go ahead and create your uh, storage account. So well, it takes some time. So now you can see like we have successfully created the storage account uh, since the policy has been satisfied by creating the tags. Uh, let's go ahead and uh, ch uh, check the tags. So you can see in the general, you can see the tags, click that. So we have one tag that I have created recently. So this is the only tag that I have right now in my uh, Azure bottle. Let's go ahead and create. So once uh, uh, the storage group that we have created is done, uh, we can see it here. Now you can see like uh, uh, the tag related to the storage group. This is how we, you can uh, filter it. You can also add some filters if you want. In this case, I'm not adding any filters. So this is how uh, you can uh, use your tags to find the resources and manage them. So 
now I'm just going to delete all the storage group so whenever you are uh, trying this lab uh, please do delete the uh, groups or uh, like whatever you've done just delete it so that uh, there will be no additional costs so thank you guys hopefully like you have understood the concept of tags and if you have liked the video please click the like button below and uh, if you have not subscribed to my channel please do subscribe to my channel and thank you guys